I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'll be talking about the Season 3 Relegation Tournament and talk a little bit about it. You know, I don't want to take too much of your time and kind of explain what went down and what are kind of my future plans right now. So to start off, a lot of you guys saw us play the Season 3 Relegation Tournament. We didn't play too well. You know, we played, we played pretty good. You know, we started off hot. We ended up be beating the first Team Uni 3-0, but that was kind of expected, right? We played Synergy next and it kind of went downhill from there so we ended up playing synergy we won the first hard point you know we did all of us played well you know it was, it was going really good played the snd unfortunately we lost 5-5 uh, i ended up getting first blood aqua ended up killing me by accident team killed me but he traded that kill he got a kill afterwards it was a 3v2 5-5 about 40 seconds left and they managed to lose it and we basically lost that map now it wasn't a big deal but you know you always want to close out those searches it can matter it could be really important and it was because then we played the next map. We wanted to uplink like something insane. I think like 18, 18 of 4 or something like that. You know, we dominated them. So we were feeling hot. The next hard point, uh, Octane and Egg started off pretty good. Myself and Aqua, we started off really slow. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I was at I was like 6, 7, 14 at one point. I was like double negative. Aqua was like 9 and 14 or something like that. And, you know, we started off bad, and I think I definitely started off the worst, but I managed to pick it up. I realized, you know, holy shit, I'm playing bad. And I could hear Pac-Man's voice across the, sh across the freaking venue going like, Oh my god, you suck! And, oh, did it get me heated. I was like, this fire inside me just lit up, and then, boom, I was playing. And I just exploded. I was literally, I was literally first half, or like, b before the last hill, I was like, I think it was the first half. I was like, literally like 10 and like 18 or something like that. And I just exploded. I ended up going, I think, 38 and like 35. I literally got what 28 kills in one half. I was just, I was destroying. You know, I picked it up and by a lot. But unfortunately, Aqua couldn't do it. I don't know. He said his, his finger was hurting. I don't like making excuses. He doesn't like making excuses either. And he ended up going double, double negative. And by that, I mean he went like 21 and 40. And he knew he cost us that map. But overall, you know. We said, it's okay, we're going to last map. Last map, we kind of got dominated. I did, from the whole series, I definitely played the worst of last map. I won like three and eight. And I did my part, you know, it's a bomb planner. I I tried, I could have definitely played better. There's no excuses there. But you know what happens? And it was just a shitty series. If Aqua would have played better on the fourth map, we, we easily won. We lost by like 10, 15 points. And if I would have played better last map, even though none of us really played good, but if we were all just played better last map, we would have definitely won. And we ended up going down to loser's bracket. Now, you never want to go to loser's bracket so early, but we did it. We ended up beating 3's up, NVVV, 3-0, 3-0. You know, all of us played well. We're, we're looking nice. Finally, everyone's back on the squad. Everybody's back on the track. You know, we're looking really good. So, I was kind of happy with that. But then, going into the last match against ISO for a spot in the league. I don't know. Half of you probably didn't watch it. But we ended up losing 5-5 last map. It went down to 1v1, and Octane lost it. He was in a bad situation, so it's whatever. But you can't get any closer than that, right? And it kind of sucks because we choked the 1v3. And I don't want to really explain and go in depth with that because it was kind of stupid. But pretty much what kind of went happened, because I'm still going to explain, right? I mean, I'm still going to do it, was we're in a 1v3. It was a 3v4. I think Aqua got first butted. I ended up getting the guy off bomb, but he did plan it, so then I made it a 3v3. Uh, I think Ace got another kill somewhere back alley, and or it might have been Octane. And then I pushed her blue. I killed the guy blue stairs. So bam, automatically one v three. I beat the guy in yellow. I call him as yellow. He has me one shot. I dash to the door. I see him again. I back off before he can kill me. And he, I guess, silly just preamed the corner. Ended up killing. Excuse me, guys. So ended up getting the silly preamed the corner. Ended up killing Ace who was just sitting there. And I was one shot, you know, it was stupid for me to challenge, he's practically in a head glitch, you almost always lose that gunfight, the guy's in the window, even if close range. And Ace is yelling in my ear, you know, challenge, challenge, Japhy, like, what are you doing? Like, you're practically yelling in my ear because he obviously has the headset on. And, you know, I was listening to my teammates, if you wouldn't have yelled, like, that insanely, like, like, if it was the emergency, like, I had to challenge, like, oh, he's gonna die or something. It made it seem that way. Then I probably wouldn't have challenged. I would just stay alive. But I listened to my teammate. I literally just went there. It was a free kill. And then Octane, you know, he was kind of a shitty spot. And just, he died. You know, there's nothing more to it. And it was so stupid. But we managed to keep composure. Went to the next round. Ace them. You know, none of us died. And then went to the next round. And I ended up getting first blooded. Again, listening to my teammate. I checked the bomb. When I knew I should have done that. Should have stayed alive. Played slower. But you know what happens. And it sucks. Shitty situation. Everything's so shitty about it. You know, we didn't make the league, and I was really, 
trying to make the lead like that that's kind of what I really what I was really aiming for you know and afterwards I was extremely disappointed not only in, in my team or anything but within myself you know I'm disappointed because I felt like I let all of you guys down I feel like I let everybody down I feel like I let prof down Ollie everybody I was I was literally heartbroken if you know it's it's like this is what we do this is what we love and when we lost in such a heartbreaking way you know I was literally just heartbroken I was I'm not gonna lie I was depressed I, it was like the end of the world for me and it was such a shitty situation and such a shitty feeling and I still kind of feel that way but I'm starting to feel a little better you know I'm trying to move on from it you know it's kind of in the past now it's it's like everything were everything that could have happened that could have went wrong just went wrong and on top of all that you know we barely got practice I don't like making excuses but practice is important and Aix was doing a throwback so we barely played that week Octane left three days before the before the event because he had to go somewhere family important family vacation whatever you know we said it's okay he went three days before the, the before the event so we couldn't even practice then and then it was just and then on top of that like X Games and we didn't get to practice again so overall we just haven't been practicing you know we went there kind of you know let's see what we got and we still almost made it out we almost beat the team that won the event and everything just went down south but it's okay guys you know I'm moving on from it and Ace definitely has improved a lot you know I love teaming with him regardless of the call out that costed me my life I was kind of pissed at that but regardless you know he played pretty good the whole event you know he's a pretty good player and I definitely like teaming with him, uh, you know, despise all the stuff people say about him and that they hate him. I actually like teaming with him. He's a good guy and deep inside, he's a good guy. You know, he doesn't like to scumbag everybody. And Aqua, definitely a beast. Uh, he had some bad maps, but he definitely exploded on some maps. I wish I would have played better on, on the Solar Hardpoint that he dropped like 50 kills. I definitely shit the bet on that map. I'm not going to take anything away from that. That's a huge reason why we lost to ISO. And, you know, it just it sucks. And Octane, I teamed with him for one event and online, and he's definitely a really good player. You know, I really like the way he plays. I really like his slang power. You know, he's he's a good player overall. He's a really good upcoming player, and I'm pretty sure he's going to make a name for himself sooner or later. So, with that being said, I'm a free agent for Prof. A lot of you guys know that. I tweeted it out. Uh, Aqua and Octane, Aix, they're all going their own ways. They're all going to be most likely joining a team. You guys will see in the next couple days. And for me, I'll be joining a team as well, hopefully. Uh, nothing's for certain yet. I can't announce anything either as well if I wanted to. So I want to say guys, before I go, you know, good luck to Prof, good luck to Ollie, good luck to these three players. And I want to appreciate everybody, you know, you guys, I appreciate all the support this weekend. Eve, unfortunately we lost, like I said, I'm really disappointed, it was really heartbreaking, but I still love you guys. Thank you for the support. This has been your boy Apathy. I just want to say don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, you know, Things get better for me because lately things haven't been so well, uh, placing wise, you know, other than that second place at Gfinity. But I'll see you guys later. Apathy is out.